Hey everybody, what is going on? Speedy Diver here, and today, if you can see right in front of me, I have six premium Japan crates that I have to unbox. I have been dying to get into these, but if you guys do not know, I did take a break off of YouTube for the past like seven plus months. So uh, basically these have just been coming to my doorstep, adding up, and I haven't gone through them. Literally they are, they're all brand new, like every single one of them. I did sadly get one Japan crate that came a little damaged. So that one I just kind of opened up because uh, it got wet. Uh, it rained and whatnot, so that one I just kind of opened up and ate all the stuff out of it, so I don't even know what month it was. But if you do want to pick up a Japan Crate, because these are my favorite food subscription boxes ever, like I literally, I'm not even joking, I love these boxes, I have a coupon code called SPEEDY3. If you use that, you save $3 off your premium order. That code does help me out as well as it does help you save money. So uh, with that being said, all that stuff will be in the description below. So what I will be doing is going through each box, showing you every single item, but I'm only going to taste test a few of them. Another thing to note about the premium Japan crates is they do come with a drink, DIY kit, bonus items. So the premium ones for me are definitely the way to go. And they do also have tons of special edition boxes. This one is their six year anniversary. This was a Sakura crate, I believe. I don't know how to say it exactly. The Halloween crate. And then there's tons of regular ones as well in between. So enough of me talking and mamble jambling on. Let's just get into some Japan crates. So diving into the first Japan crate, I'm gonna be actually going into the six year anniversary one just because I think it just, it's special because it's their six year anniversary. This has got to be the first one I get into and there's instantly a um, a little scratch off thing. I'll give this to you guys because uh, I love giving back to the community here on YouTube. So here's the code. It is a $10 gift card to the Sogio Mart. I'm not too sure. It's the other basically website that Japan Crate does have and they sell goodies on there. So uh, definitely uh, cop up this $10 gift card. There's the code right there. Whoever gets it first, congratulations. Okay, so I quickly tried making a video of just this box alone, and it was over like 12 minutes long, just me showing you guys what each of these were and telling you what they were. Now, the one problem with that is this video, if I do all these boxes in the same video, which I'm going to do, it's gonna be like an over two hour long video. So that is not, it's a no-go. So basically, the only other way I think I could do this video is if I just kind of play some music in the background, just quickly show you guys what the packaging looks like. I mean, you can kind of tell what some things are, obviously. You can kind of tell this is like a little wafer candy. Uh, so, Oreo, of course. So there's some things you can tell what they are. And at the end of that, I'm gonna pick from each box about two items that I think are the weirdest, most unique items in the box, and I'm gonna try them out.
So quickly gonna show you guys what was in that Japan crate right there. It's all in English, so if you do wanna know, just pause the video real quick and check out all those different items. The weirdest, or the two weirdest or strangest or coolest items I found in this Japan crate was the mint cream Oreos, which looks really interesting, and a salt li and liche or lychee Pepsi. So like I said earlier on, I will taste test the two most interesting items in each box at the very end of the video. So stay tuned for that. So here's the overview of box number two. As you can see, a whole bunch of different items from Kit Kats to whatever these little cold looking things are to uh, drinks that are so different. Looks like maybe a coffee of some sort. Uh, some of whatever that is, that's probably going to be really strange. So uh, let's get into what's in the box. So I'm gonna quickly show you what was in the box. If you want to pause the video, check out what these things all mean in English because uh, I went through that kind of quick. So uh, the two strangest things that I found within this crate were basically this right here, which is a Cuyoca basil and Genovese cheese scones. And the other one is going to be the Coedo maple TTP, which are like twigs, which they just look so strange. Box number three, here we come. So these two items are the strangest, most curious items for me that I wanna try in this box for box number three. Now, one thing I do wanna do is show you guys everything within the box. So as you can see, if you want to pause the video so you can find out what these items are, cause there was a lot I went through. But basically the ones that I'm interested in are the Kit Kat, which is a salt liche, liche Kit Kat, which I believe is milk. Uh, and then also this one as well. This is a Fuwato shrimp, so it's shrimp kind of puffy chips as well as Kit Kats that look really, really interesting. Box number four, let's go. So quickly just gonna show you guys 
what <laughs> this just fell what was in the fourth japan crate there are tons and tons of goodies and treats i've never ever tried strawberry coca-cola i've tried apple coke which was very delicious and strange from japan crate but this definitely gonna have to try this for sure and also this so it's sakura japanese sake Literally, sake, Kit Kats, or sake, sake. I always say it wrong. I know I pronounce it wrong, but either way, the Kit Kats. Like, this is how? How is this a thing? It, I, I don't know, but I want to try these for sure. And that's one thing I love about Japan Crate. Whenever they add Kit Kats, they're always super duper strange, unique Kit Kats to Japan Crate. So, Japan Crate number five, this one. Let's just get it started. Again, the Kit Kats, like I can't emphasize it enough. Like what is this, ocean salt Kit Kats? Who would have ever thunk this was gonna be in Japan Crate? Not me, I love it. So this Japan Crate has to be my favorite one so far because there were so many good things. I couldn't really just pick two, even though I had to, you know, but the Oreos, so unique, shrimp, garlic, like whatever chips, just it all was really interesting. You can make your own uh, bu uh, bubble tea, I believe that was, that's what that was, or milk tea or something. Really interesting as well. But my two items are going to be the soy sauce, basically Pringles, because I've never tried a soy sauce chip before. Definitely strange. And the Ocean Salt Kit Kats. But if you do want to know what every single item is inside of this Japan crate, there you go. There's a breakdown. So just pause the video, zoom in, and you can can see all the different items in this box and the sixth and final box is going to be a Halloween edition Japan crate and as you can see there is so much to be loved about these boxes let's get into it So this is what's in box number six of Japan Crate. As you can see, there are tons and tons of great goodies to be eaten for sure. Now, this was another hard box to choose from because I wanted to choose this as the drink, the cream brulee. Uh, basically, this just sounds delicious. I've never heard of this ever. It's from Lipton. Uh, that's supposedly what it tastes like or what it looks like, I should say. And uh, I wanted to choose it, but I do already have two drinks to try out. I don't want to open a third because uh, I don't want these to go to waste so i will be saving that but the other two that i'm going to be picking is this right here which is a some kind of like pie of some sort and then this one which is caramel corn but pumpkin pudding flavored so as you can see these are two items from each box that i did choose got two drinks and a ton of other snacks now basically i'm going to be trying a little piece or at least one piece of every item that is on top of these. So let's get into chowing down. 
Starting off with the first item is gonna be a mint cream Oreo. I've yet to ever try these. They may be in the United States. I'm not too, too sure. But uh, first time for everything. As you can see, it has a green mint filling. Let's try it out. Just as I expected, literally delicious. So, so good. Since that was so, oh, so delicious, I'm gonna wash that down with a nice Pepsi salt and lychee. No idea if it tastes good, but we're gonna try it out. Let's hear the, uh, mmm, breaking the seal. And let's see if it's as good as it maybe sounds. I don't know. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of this. It actually tastes very odd to me. Not the biggest fan of this, but it is definitely fine. I will definitely drink all of it for sure. But uh, definitely an interesting one for sure. I, I, mm, I don't know, it's just a little strange. Next, I'm gonna be trying an Ocean Salt Kit Kat. Now this, I am really, really excited for because I love mainly all Kit Kats. And uh, let's try it out. Okay, that is way better than I ever thought it was gonna be. The white chocolate, on point. A little salty in there as well to go with it. That is great. Man, I love that. Next on the agenda are going to be the soy sauce chips, which I am not looking forward to, but they are just so strange. And by the way, they don't open on the top here. They open, you gotta like push them in. Ooh, it was so loud. Not so much a chip, I would assume, but a couple of them are a little cracked, but let's try out a little piece of it. Okay, these are actually way better than I thought they were gonna be. Oh, these are actually really good. Next up is the sake Kit Kat, the Sakura Japanese Sake Kit Kat. And let's try it out. It's such a unique flavor, what? Like, I don't know how to explain this. Cause I've tried sake IRL, like real, like it's uh, rice wine basically. I've never ever tried a Kit Kat flavor like that. It doesn't really taste like sake, it, it, a little bit, but uh, it's really strange. I like it. But it's strange. Next, I'm gonna be attempting to try the strawberry Coca-Cola. This, I'm gonna assume I'm probably gonna love. I love strawberry and Coca-Cola. And I've tried apple Coca-Cola before and that was phenomenal. So uh, let's try it out. If you could think of Coca-Cola not as carbonated, but more sweet than carbonated, that's what you got with a little hint of strawberry. This is freaking delicious. So we're definitely getting to this next, and this is a basil and Gen Genovese cheese scones. Let's just try one of these out and let's get into it. Okay. Mmm. 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 Let's go. This right here literally tastes like I'm eating at like a five star restaurant. Mmm, that is so good. Mmm. Oh, let's go. Next are the maple flavored twigs. These are chocolate and maple sugar kind of powdered coated or something. So uh, let's just try them out. Wow. Those are the sweetest things ever. Mmm. That's like pure sugar. They're just like chip shrimp things. Yes, we're trying these. Okay, I do love seafood. I love shrimp. But when I open this bag, wow, does it smell like the ocean. Mmm, okay. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> okay. I don't like these. I don't like them. I just don't like them. Being honest, I don't like them. I'm honest with you guys in these videos. <laughs> this tastes like I'm literally just eating a dead fish. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Next, we are trying the salt liche, which I believe is supposed to be milk in Spanish. I could be wrong. Maybe it means something else in J Japanese. The taste of this Kit Kat is very odd. I'm not a big fan of it. I probably wouldn't go out and buy these um, if I could. But um, yeah, they're, they're very strange. I, mmm. Angel vanilla pie of some sort. I really just wanted to open it up and show you guys because it's very squishy. Let's take a bite and see what's all in there. Probably some marshmallow or something. Mmm. Yeah, there's some marshmallow in there with like some other crackers of some sort. Really good actually. Mmm. Very good. This is, I could eat this all day. Delicious. Pumpkin pudding caramel corn. It really doesn't taste like anything. It just kind of tastes like caramel corn. Hmm. A little disappointed. Maybe it's just the packaging that's supposed to be all like Halloween-y, but it said it was supposed to be pumpkin pudding. So one thing that's great about this video is I got all these boxes out of the way and every single month from now on, I'll still be getting another Japan crate. So if you like what you saw in these Japan crates, make sure you use code SPEEDY3 for $3 off your Japan crate order. And also let me know in the comment section down below, what was your all time favorite item within all six 
boxes. That one favorite item that you had, the one that piqued your interest the most, maybe the drinks, maybe the chips, maybe the, the Oreos, there were two flavors of Oreos, tons and tons, maybe the Kit Kats. Ooh, I love the Kit Kats. Just let me know in the comments below. Now, with that all being said and out of the way, you can watch all the Japan Crate unboxings I've ever done right over here. There's a whole bunch of them, so if you're still undecided, go check them out. That's how I usually make these kinds of videos. Also, go check out the last video I've ever posted. Go check out my gaming channel and the Speedy Diver channel. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoy these kinds of videos, and I shall catch you on the flip side.